contestant to let their business voice heard sees a lot of money to be made in the world of computer gaming. Strategizing towards building a prototype, they seek funding to establish the very first Malaysian PC gaming product for the public. My name is Syed Saluddin bin Syed Muhammad. I'm a founder of a company called Creativa and we are currently designing a PC called Red Rip, the gaming PC. Gaming PC need to be more immersive in the experience. And uh, for me, I always believe that the future belongs to the people who believe in beauty and their dreams. For Red Rip Gaming PC, we need to find a suitable investor because we need uh, funding for the designing phase and for the commercialization of that gaming PC itself. And we need it for branding purposes. I've been playing gaming PC since 1986. So it was before the age of uh, 3D graphic card. Uh, nowadays, gaming PC need a very powerful graphic card in the engine. So we are trying to design the Red Rig Gaming PC so that uh, the player can immerse themselves in more graphical intensive games that uh, nowadays people play. And furthermore, uh, the total amount of space that is taken by gaming rig usually is quite big. So we need to design a very space constrained gaming design, gaming PC design, so that uh, the gamer themselves can uh, save the space inside the gaming station, actually. Will his playful product win over our judges, or will our panel of experts pull the plug on his idea? we saw the impact of PC gaming as an entertaining pastime for individuals and groups at large. But will the binary buzz last long enough for the judges to bite the bait and invest? It's not game over until, well, game over. It's time for Syed Salehuddin to share his game plans. Quite nervous, actually. Everybody should feel nervous, otherwise they are a robot. I think it's kind of 60-40, just like the equity that we're willing to give to them. And because the amount that we're asking is quite big for the startup technology company and no investor in Malaysia currently are willing to give that much. The most preparation actually is on the business side. Uh, we want to know how we operate, uh, what kind of uh, revenue are we expecting in one year or two years time and can we survive the, the, the economic recession nowadays in Asia, those kind of things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Syed Saluddin Min Syed Muhammad. I'm from a company called Red Rig, the Malaysian expert in gaming PC. So our vision is to deliver happiness for gamers. Imagine this world. Imagine the world where everybody can be kings or queens. Everybody can be policemen or firemen. Those are the worlds of gaming PC. It's a world where you can make mistakes and come back and play it again. So no harm done. A gaming PC, owning a gaming PC to a gamer is like a sports car to a person. Performance and looks really matter. It must perform at the right moment, at the right time, and it must look good to others. The PC gaming market scored a $16 billion in revenue in 2010 in the US alone. It is expected to rise by 20% per year. In Asia, a PC games developer revenue has doubled from 2006 to 2009. Three things that is important in my presentation. The gaming experience. That is the most important. As you can see from the gamer's face, he's very happy because the gaming PC performs well and it looks good. Those are the important things for them. Second, our business model, selling through website first. Future expansion will include an option of a showroom because I believe that we must make the gamers test the gaming PC because nowadays most companies don't do that and uh, they don't allow you to test the gaming PC. Third, why we need the funding? This is our financing needs. 
uh, the numbers shows uh, quite big, but is it, uh, the one million is for two years of operation without uh, any revenue being considered over. So because uh, we haven't got to the price pricing yet, because the prototype is, is still in the designing final designing phase, and we are manufacturing it later. So after that, uh, we can make uh, the price uh, list. How is this different from Alien Alienware or any other gaming PCs available? Uh, the design concept is very radical. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the first thing that uh, gamers would notice from a gaming PC perspective because I'm a gamer myself. I've been playing games since uh, 20 years back. So the first thing that we do when we go and buy gaming PC is the look first. So, so what are you actually making? Are you making... Uh, the whole thing, the console, the you know, that means <coughs> the whole what you showed just now? Yes, um, the desktop itself. Uh, the desk itself is the desktop in this case. Uh, okay. do, you do you notice that when you buy uh, in your office, you have Dell, right? They have the, the CPU. Yes, the CPU. Because in the gaming PC industry, you don't make all the paraphernalia. You just make the CPU. So you're making the, the, the <coughs> CPU, the, yes, the CPU, the brain of it. Yep, the brain of it. But I think gamers, they, they normally know how to spec their own uh, yes. computer, right? And, and they would go to places like Lao Yat yep. and say, oh, I want this, this, this. So what's so special about yours okay. that another gamer can, cannot do? Okay. The thing is about, uh, there are two different types of uh, gaming PC. Uh, I don't show it in this presentation, but before it, I show that. Uh, they are the, the custom made by gamers themselves and the, the branded one like uh, the company that you mentioned. Uh, so, uh, the problem with the custom gaming PC, uh, you do it by yourself in Laoyat, the you don't have the warranty for all the, for the whole package. Each and every part has its own warranty, sometimes not enough. Sometimes within six months, the motherboard already, and <coughs> you have finished about, uh, you spend about 6,000 ringgit on it. So uh, sometimes gamers like, like myself included, I, I prefer the branded one because we have the whole package. Sometimes uh, we were, were toying around with the idea that maybe we'll have this money back guarantee things to consider for to, to make our trustworthiness higher. Okay, um, you're asking for a million? Yeah. Uh, for what equity? For what amount uh, of equity? We are willing after much deliberation <laughs> with my partner, my founding partner, we are willing to give, because uh, the amount is too much, so we are willing to give 45% uh, of the company to any potential investor. And that amount is to go to complete your prototype or, or what uh, is it strictly uh, for? I, I've uh, divided the uh, detail inside that. Uh, uh, basically, it's about uh, prototyping costs around 300000 uh, including the manufacturing part. So we are, we are kind of tight over there. And uh, the, the thing is, we are, we are considering the branding and marketing part. That one we need because uh, we are a new brand, so we need to position our brand uh, as good as their brand. And then the other part is the for two years uh, operation cost with five staff, with the office expenses and all, uh, without revenue considering. Don't you think that it is best for you to produce something that is visible, that people can see, people can play with? Um, First, that means the development. Complete your prototype first, and then start talking about aggressive marketing. Because unless and until that product is there on the table for people to feel, touch, and you know try and test, okay. um, how would you go on aggressive marketing? Uh, okay, we consider that, but we believe that branding is everything uh, in the uh, branded gaming PC market. We have to push for the branding first. We have to push for the marketing first, uh, so that the, the brand may be positioned better. And but what uh, are you branding? Yeah. A half baked cake. <coughs> you have to uh, make sure you know? that yeah. You have to make sure that the PC itself works before yes. yeah. you be able to then, have a brand. Then you have a brand. I I believe the uh, product has to come first. Yeah, yeah. the product has got to yeah. come first, ready to go to market kind of thing, okay. rather than something that is uh, in your mind, in your head. Be. But mm, we. Yeah. we Yes. People can't see. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. So, how, how do you think the pitch went uh, in front of our panel? Uh, I think the pitch went well. Mm -hmm. It's just that uh, I'm asking um, amount amounted to one million, so they're uh, scratching their heads a bit. <laughs>
you know, what would you improve or what, what would you do to improve your business plan side? I'm sure okay. you're a product and you're the expert when it comes to your product. But on the business plan side, what are you going to change or do differently? Uh, we hope that when the investor come come in with that that amount of money, mm -hmm. maybe a half of it is good enough, uh, they will put a good CEO for us because we need a business person over there. We are a technology person. Mm -hmm. So we are not used to running a, the whole part of a company, only mm -hmm. the technology side. All right. Anyway, all the best. Okay. Thank you very much.